I suffer with depression and or anxiety. The next thing that I'm going to cover that people have given and I'm sure will continue to give as reasons for stopping their membership at Rise is related to essentially how they're feeling, their, their, their mood, their mental health, their feelings of depression, anxiety, etc. And I get that. I get that those things make the doing of stuff considerably harder. I get that both from nearly 45 years experience of being a human, but more importantly, 22 years in total, 12 years particularly of doing this to help people with exactly that thing. Because I don't think I've ever encountered a single person whose mood, mental health, isn't where they'd like it to be, who hasn't found that regular exercise, eating and drinking better, better sleep patterns, the stuff that we help with, hasn't to some degree helped that. I'm not saying it's the entirety of it. I'm not saying there's not a natural component that some people aren't more prone to depression and anxiety. But what I'm saying is I've never encountered a person for whom those lifestyle changes doesn't help to at least some degree. So if we're not where we want to be with those things, depression, anxiety, mood, mental health, then is completely stopping the thing that will help that the answer. I know it's easier said than done. But everything's easier said than done. Nothing is easier to do than saying the words. That doesn't mean a thing isn't worth doing. So if you're struggling, mood, mental health, depression, anxiety, I get it. We're here to help. But doing the things that help it is key. Reach out to us, talk to us, just do what you can under the circumstances. Stopping and going even further in the opposite direction is not the answer.